hey everyone thanks for coming back on my channel so today we are going to discuss how we can generate a certificate on mac operating system and how those certificate can be used on mulesoft so by default when we create any api in the mulesoft that api is http protocol however if you want to integrate mulesoft api let's say for an example with salesforce uh, we need to use an https protocol Otherwise, there are so many functionalities uh, between Salesforce and Mulesoft which would not be possible. So the question is, uh, how do we how do we create an HTTPS protocol? So first part would be we would be generating a certificate. Second part, we would be creating an HTTPS protocol or HTTPS API on the local Mulesoft server, which is the Anyfun Studio. And third, we will see how we can deploy that change and what modification needs to be done so that we can have an https protocol on cloud hub so let's get started so assuming we have homebrew installed first step is to install xca and you can use this command so right now i am connected to the internet and my mac operating system uh, which has homebrew is installing xca so once installation is complete uh, we can launch uh, this tool now this is also available from the window operating system so if you have a window you can directly download the binaries of xca and you can open it up so i have xca in front of me so first step we have to do is we have to choose the database and you can create a empty database anywhere on your local system so I'm trying to create a database uh, on my Mulesoft workspace itself so that it would be easy to manage all my SSL certificate at the same place. So when we try to save, uh, it will ask for the password of the database. So my password is just 123456. So I'm using my password for a certificate database. Once that is done, uh, then you can start generating a certificate so as we can see there are multiple tabs i'm not really much interested in on other tabs i would directly go on a certificate tab now let's click on a new certificate here and as we can see there are multiple tabs here uh, for an example we have a source we have subject so let's start with source as we can see a uh, template for the new certificate we have lots of options by default like we can choose something like ca we have algorithm lots of option available here uh, we will go with the 256 bit sha uh, like we have 384 and 512 as well let's keep it simple 256 uh, for the template as we are trying to create an http server uh, let's go ahead and choose http server option here and now the <clears throat> next step would be to go on the subject tab uh, internal name is nothing but the aliasing so the allies for this certificate uh, we can put it any name you want uh, so uh, let's we are trying to create a local server let's go ahead and enter that name and we can provide any other name on all those fields like uh, country name state provision let's go ahead and quickly put all those name there Now let's create a private key here. Uh, you can create a new key, give it any name you want to give. And let's say its type is RSA and 204 at byte. And once the key is created, next step for us would be uh, to go on the next tab, which is an extension. And uh, in extension, we have a lot of options. So let's choose both key identifier. We are seeing subject key identifier and the authority key identifier type we are trying to create a certificate authority so let's choose that type and then we have lots of other options now let's click on the edit on subject uh, alternatives name and there are so many other options like uri email dns ip any option we want so now as we are creating this certificate uh, for our local host so let's go ahead and add the dns name and if you want uh, we can add something like an email or the ip address right now the local host ip address is nothing but 127.0.0.1 so let's go ahead and add that 
as an example if you want to add some other website information as well that you can add so for an example my website uh, which is httpsjitendrajha.com i can add something like that either i can add httpsjitendrajha or i can use a wildcard character there now let's go on the next tab key usage we don't need to change anything uh, all other tabs are good uh, it's a summary of what has been generated like a uh, advanced option if you want to see uh, so it's all good let's go ahead and click on ok and it's saying that our certificate got generated now let's click on export button uh, we want our certificate format to be uh, e12 there's so many other options available let's choose that one and let's try to export our certificate uh, in our local folder if you see the background i have folder open it is asking me for the password let's give the password 13456 and let's repeat that in the background if you see p12 file already got generated so uh, now let's copy p12 file and we are going to use that p12 file in the next step so we just finished our part one which was generation of the certificate it did took around six minutes uh, but now our next phase would be easier let's talk about part two in this part two we are going to create https local server in mulesoft anypoint studio by using the certificate we generated on step one I already have existing news of project I am going to delete my old certificate and let's paste the same certificate so we already have p12 certificate from our previous step and <clears throat> what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy that name uh, which is a local server dot p12 now my muse of is very easy muse of application it's just one listener and the set payload I'm simply saying hello world and if you see the listener configuration, I'm saying protocol is HTTPS, TLS context, as you can see, we can put all the name here. So I'm just giving my certificate name, which we just created in the previous step, which is .p12, the aliasing we placed. And as you can see, the password is same, 123456 that we used. And of course, the type is uh, PKCS12 that we used while we trying to, when we try to generate the certificate. Okay, does test connection fail because it seems my Muse of application is already running. So that's not the problem. Let's finish OK. And as you can see console, my Muse of application is already running. So I will stop that. Let's clear the log. And if you go back on my message flow, it's a simple listener with the set payload. And if I try to run now, <coughs> let's see what happens. So deployment going on uh, and deployment is successful let's go and try to open the url so my port is 4443 that we saw in news of application and the starting url was main if you see my google chrome is throwing me an error saying that certification is not trusted and actually that is expected because the certificate which I generated is the self-signed certificate. Google Chrome does not know anything about uh, that certificate. If you click on that certificate, it gives me all the exactly detail that I provided. So for an example, my address, my email address, everything is there. So it's the Google is actually able to read my certificate or the browser is able to read my certificate, but it is saying that authority, which is my local system, they don't understand the authority because they normally <coughs> no uh, industry industry wide accepted one so the question is what do we need to do so that google chrome or the browser would start recognizing our certificate so fortunately there is a setting in chrome if you go on chrome flags allow insecure local host uh, you can enable it However, this is very dangerous setting. We have to be careful and only enable while testing it. So once I enable, it will restart my browser. And if I go back on my local host 443 main here. So hello world just got printed. 
now i'm trying to test same in postman so if you see if i hit localhost 443 main i am getting an error in the postman so basically in postman there is a setting for ssl certificate verification we have to disable that and once you click on send uh, let's see okay we have to change the protocol so let's make it https and now our https local server should be accepted by postman as well so part one and part two is done so part one was all about generation of certificate part two was enabling api as an https on the local host and now in part three we are going to deploy the same application on the cloud hub and we are going to see what are some settings that we need to change that the same api would execute on the cloud hub as well with an https protocol so the first thing we have to do in MuleSoft is we have to go on our xml file and try to replace the port because the port is actually for our local host however MuleSoft has a dedicated https port so we have to make sure that MuleSoft cloud hub is able to configure uh, that port and if we want we can all i mean having a password also in the direct native xml is not a good idea uh, so just to give you a demo how to secure your key password we can remove that and we can try to put that as well as the part of the configuration itself so let's just validate that uh, everything is right so we have key stored at password and then we have http port oh actually we have to make it https port because the protocol here we are going to use in https so let's go ahead and make it https let's go ahead and create a new file and this is going to be our configuration file so all the parameters we just declared uh, we want to have it in a yaml file i have a separate three minute video explaining how it works so if you want you can go back on my channel and search for new soft configuration file here so i'm going to uh, create few keys so for example key store and then key store password let's check what is the key value so key store dot password so all the dot uh, and that that norming convention has to be go on the next line so key store dot password is this is the format we have to follow now let's create a global configuration right click new uh, mule configuration file uh, let's give it a name something like global and then go on uh, open that file and let's go on global elements tab and create a global configuration uh, configuration properties and let's choose our config.yaml file we just created this is how the MuleSoft will be able to know that where the configuration file your configuration file has to be attached to the global file so once we have everything fine so we did got keys to our password let's get uh, let's go ahead and uh, add https port also we really don't need https port for the cloud hub however if we want to run this on our local server local server still needs to know our port so i'm going to use a uh, https port and our previous port was like triple four three so let's configure that So just to be safer side let's rerun our uh, <coughs> project locally uh, to see everything is working fine as expected so it's building uh, we will just validate one more time on our uh, chrome let's refresh the same endpoint i'm expecting hello world should appear again so yeah so it is working fine let's validate the certificate certificate is also the same it has exactly same information that i provided previously now it is time to deploy this on our cloud hub so right click any point platform uh, deploy uh, we would you would need to provide your credential i am already logged in so i don't need to provide my credential i already had the previous version of the application i would be just uh, deploying this application which will uh, override the other one so it seems it's already deployed uh, let's go back on my any point cloud uh, as we can see it is being deployed right now so let's see what's going on here uh, 
okay i can see the logs uh, deployment is being attempted by cloud if everything goes fine our application would be redeployed and the old application would be overwritten by this new one <clears throat> so it seems uh, it got deployed and let's copy this url and let's try to open this url in our chrome so this error does make sense because i am not supporting http protocol it's https protocol this error also makes sense because we forgot our initial url which is main so once i have my initial url which was main with https protocol i'm expecting it to give me a hello world written awesome so now we have https enabled api in new soft one interesting thing here is certificate let's observe so on the local host the certificate was showing my name but if you go on MuleSoft api the certificate will not show the local host name this certificate is actually showing the MuleSoft original certificate so the only thing we need to make sure is our certificate is in place uh key store password is in environment variable and the port is in environment variable or rather we say rather country Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. And if that is the case, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.